Welcome to the Shreveport Connection with Tommy. This video is on your SmackDown spoilers for this week. Uh, happy birthday goes to Enzo Amore, turned 29 years old today. Actually, uh, yesterday, uh, for the uh, on the day of the tapings. Also, uh, former WB manager, the Slickster, turned 58. Speaking of uh, Enzo Amore, the kids from the Tribute to the Troops uh, event saying happy birthday to them, and you can go to their to the WWE site on their uh, Twitter to uh, see the videos. Tough enough winner Sarah Lee is definitely putting on some size as she continued to train at WWE Performance Center for her NXT debut. And here's some recent photos that you can uh, see of her. Also on Instagram.com. Tough enough, uh, tough Sarah Lee. A fan in attendance at the Tribute to the Troops SmackDown tapings in Jacksonville, Florida, noted that Chris Jericho sign was confiscated by security. Some fans noted that the crowd was dead for the most of the tapings, which uh, goes with that correspondence reported, and that were they there only appeared to be 3,000 in attendance. As Chris Jericho responded to a tweet uh, from the fans that uh, said it. Ha <clears throat> ha, really? Uh, John Cena and Nikki Bella attended New York City premiere of Sisters on Tuesday night. As noted, Cena plays a drug dealer and uh, by the name of Pazuzu in the comedy. And here are some photos uh, from the links uh, from Instagram by the Nikki Bella. And also, uh, John Cena appeared on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon <coughs> from, last from last night, Tuesday night. Uh, the Sisters movie with Amy Poehler and Tina Fey. And you can go to this link here for on YouTube. Regarding wrestling, Fallon asked Cena if he was relaxing while taking time away from WB. And Cena talked about filming Fox's American Grit, saying he never takes time off to relax. And you can go on. Go to that video on there. She had also did a comedy on the show, singing his own version of Adele's Hello, single, and then reuniting with his inner child before hitting him with an attitude adjustment. And you can go to that video link. There was an incident also at the uh, SmackDown tapings in Jacksonville, Florida, where a family had to be escorted out of the arena. I'll show a photo of that back there. Uh, it appears that the issues began with two young boys called Roman Reigns the uh, N-word. During his entrance, this led to some comments from the other fans in that section as the boy's mother did not respond well to people talking to her sons. The mother then got in an argument with other fans, accusing them of taking photos of her kids. Security saw that there was a, a situation brewing and the uh, from the family causing the problems and was immediately removed. Actor comedian Harry Mandel stand up performance it. Tribute to the Troops taping took place after Train's performance. Train did several of their hit songs, including Drops of Jupiter and Hey Soul Sister. And also a, a photo of uh, Triple H with Howie Mandel and Train's Pat Monahan. Dolph Ziggler suffered a black eye, and I'll show you a photo of that there. And last night's uh, <coughs> SmackDown tapings in a match against Tyler Breeze, he tweeted a photo himself. Darren Young tweeted his uh, a picture on about himself as he was in a hospital. No details on, on what was going on with him. And that's probably why he hasn't been with Titus O'Neil. And Titus is on his own right now. While Tommy Dreamer is currently in the middle of main, the main roster WWE run, he's considered a free agent and will still be working some indies. According to F4W Online, and it is confirmed by another website as well, I read the news that he is uh, with the uh, uh, Legends are doing some shows. <coughs> Latest episode of WWE Five Things with Kyle Edwards looks like superstars. You didn't know who were siblings. Go to this link here for you. Roman Reigns and Rosie, Umaga and Rikishi, Brother Love and Body Donna Zip, Road Warrior Animal and John Laurinaitis, plus Road Dog BG James and his three brothers. And if there's any more in there, just go to the video. 
Tuesday night, the company rolled into Jacksonville, Florida for the latest long line of tribute shows with a roster depleting or depleted by injury, but determined to say thank you as only it can. On the hills of Monday Night Raw, they kicked off with 16 top stars hitting, battling, and tag team action. The event featured a huge tag bout pitting eight baby faces against eight heels, all for sake of entertaining the audience. Roman Reigns was naturally the star of the show, but the return of Kane and the WWE Divas helped round out the night's card. While wins and losses hardly matter on a show as tribute to the, for the tribute to the truth, they do indicate to some whether they should bother taking the time out of their busy holiday schedules to watch. With a musical performance by Train and appearance by comedian Howie Mandel also on the tap. Everything uh, that went down on Tuesday night's tapings, courtesy of Wrestling Inc. Florida Governor Rick Scott was sitting at ringside for a tribute to the troop show in Jacksonville, Florida, and was interacting with WWE stars and seemed to be having a really good time. Also had a segment with Titus O'Neil after his match, and that was the dark match made uh, a dark match before all of it, and uh. Titus O'Neil defeated Heath Slater. Titus uh, did the million dollar dance, the millions of dollar dance with Governor Scott. NXT star Enzo Amore, Colin Cassidy, Carmella, and Kenneth Crawford were also along the Tribute to the Trumps event in Florida. The children that I spoke about earlier at the beginning of the video sang Happy Birthday from the Kings Bay Naval sub base. And there was a video on Twitter, WWE NXT, for that. <clears throat> and you can only see it on the Twitter account. Uh, Tribute to the Truth special that airs Wednesday, December 23rd at 8 p.m. Results. Rusev defeated Jack Swagger with the accolade. Mark Henry defeated Bo Dallas, who was dressed up as Uncle Sam. Kevin Owens talked about Canada being superior to the United States, to which Ryback arrived and the match was made. Ryback defeated Kevin Owens by countout when Owens walked out. Such as a, a walk, Owens walk. Remember that from Cesaro. Paige, Sasha Banks, Tamina, and Naomi defeated Charlotte, Becky, Bree, and Alicia Fox. Uh, Roman Reigns, Dean Ambrose, the Usos, the Dudleys. Kane and Ryback defeated the League of Nations and the Wyatt family. Tribute to, to the troop show is what it is, and even attempting to analyze the show is futile. The one result that stands out to this writer, though, is, uh, is the choice by WB Creative to book Rusev to de defeat Swagger on a show that is meant to pay tribute to the country's servicemen. Why not put Swagger over in that spot? Or, you're, if, uh, if you're hell bent on Rusev not losing, why not put, put, put him up? Uh, probably against uh, Adam Rose. Why not? Was Adam busy? Could he not have been put in that spot and eat a Patriot lot? Hmm. Could put him against Jack Swagger. <clears throat> and why bring Kane back and put him in a main event when he was done? When he has done absolutely nothing of note since Survivor Series? Perhaps bringing him back in a meaningful angle or program would be better. To sue him and inject star power back into the show. Otherwise, the shows the show looks like one that should be an exercise and fun and celebration, which is exactly what it should be. Photos from the event. I'll post them behind me. Uh, superstars and divas and various stops in Jacksonville, Florida today, as they prepare for the WWE Tribute to the Troops tapings tonight. Some of them are on Instagram.com, backslash WWE. Uh, uh, some of them are Instagram.com, backslash Natty by Nature. And also a Twitter link for you. And also go to the photos, probably all at the same time. Second report for Tribute to the Troops. Thanks to Edward, Kins, and Darkheart for the following Spoilers for Jack from Jacksonville, Florida for the troops. 16 man main event. 
for the tribute to the Troop Show. Uh, Jack Swagger versus Rusev. Was Lana was up first. Back and forth action, but Rusev won with accolade. Mark Henry squashed Bo Dallas, who was dressed as Uncle Sam. Kevin Owens came out and talked about how Canada was better than the United States. Ryback interrupted to a pop, and we got a, got a match. Ryback defeated Kevin Owens by count out. Owens got himself counted out. Paige, Sasha, Naomi, and Tamina defeated Charlotte, Becky, Brie, and Alicia. Roman Reigns, Dean Ambrose, the, the Usos, the Dudleys. Kane and Ryback defeated Sheamus, Rusev, King Barrett, Alberto Del Rio, Bray Wyatt, Luke Harper, Eric Rowan, and Braun Strowman. The band trained and then performed. They aired various celebrity tributes throughout the show. Third result for the tribute to the tapings. <coughs> tribute to the troops taping from Jacksonville, Florida. Thanks to WrestlingInc.com. Jack Swagger defeated Rusev, which originally was scheduled at, uh, listed as the opposite result. <coughs> so a little bit different there, this report. Mark Henry defeated Bo Dallas. Ryback defeated Kevin Owens by count out. And Paige, Sasha, Naomi, and Tamina defeated Charlotte, Becky, Bree, and Alicia. Roman Reigns, Dean Ambrose, the Usos, the Dudleys. Kane and Ryback defeated Sheamus, Rusev, King Barrett, Alberto Del Rio, Bray Wyatt, Luke Harper, Eric Rowan, and Braun Strowman. SmackDown. Spoilers. Thanks to Dark Heart. Lucha Dragons defeated Tag Team Champions New Day in a non-title action. Contract signing with Dean Ambrose and the WWE Intercontinental Champion Kevin Owens ended up in a cheap shot from Owens, and then a fight broke out. Owens retreated, and Ambrose signed the contract uh, while yelling at Owens. Ryback defeated the Ascension in a handicap match. Uh, <coughs> Dolph Ziggler defeated Tyler Breeze. Nothing more. Don't forget about Ike Eye, so it probably got hit in the eye during the match. Promo from the Wyatt family. Becky Lynch defeated Paige by submission. Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose defeated Sheamus and Kevin Owens in your main event. And speaking of the main event, due to the tribute to the troops taping, there was no WWE main event for this week. So if they do have one, it's probably just going to be a highlight show for the year. Something like that. Second results from Wrestling Inc. From SmackDown, Lucha Dragons defeated New Day in a non-title match. Kevin Owens and Dean Ambrose contract signing for TLC. Ryback defeated Ascension in handicap action. Uh, Dolph Ziggler defeated Tyler Breeze. Becky Lynch defeated Paige. Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose over Sheamus and Kevin Owens. Third report. Here's what happened at the SmackDown tapings from Jacksonville, Florida. The air December 10th episode of SmackDown on Sci-Fi. Lucha Dragons defeated Tag Team Champions New Day in non-title. Match, contract signing for Dean Ambrose and Kevin Owens. Second ended with a cheap shot from Owens, and then a fight broke out, which Owens retreated, and Ambrose signed a contract and yelling. Uh, Ryback defeated the Ascension in a handicap match. Dolph Ziggler defeated Tyler Breeze. Wyatt Family came out for a promo. Becky Lynch defeated Paige by submission. Uh, Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose uh, defeated Sheamus and Kevin Owens in tag. Match for your main event of SmackDown. And that concludes my spoilers for this week. Again, thank you for watching. Thanks for support supporting my videos. Peace out. God bless you. If you don't know, you better call me, bro.